Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be giving you some skincare tips. Now this video is specifically for men and uh, so those of you or those men out there that are looking for some honed in skincare tips, I also want to give you some shaving tips and um, things like that just to give you some more intel. There's a lot of information out there for women but I did want to make a dedicated video talking about skincare and shaving for men. So if you're interested in seeing that what I have to say, then please keep watching. All right, you guys, so jumping right in, I just want to start off this video by saying if you're new here, I am a licensed, licensed esthetician in the state of Florida. So uh, I do have quite a bit of knowledge as far as products and what treatments work for what kinds of skin types, what kinds of skin, uh, you know, concerns and things like that. So, uh, but however, you know, skincare is very personal. So what works for me might not work for you and what works for one person might not work for the other. So just keep that in mind. I am going to give you information based on my uh, you know, experience, what I've learned, what I've done. I have treated several men before I do facials and so I know what men like and don't like and also I have heard from several men. I like to ask them what they like, what they don't like and so I wanted to sit down and make a dedicated video talking about skincare for men because there's not a lot of information out there and if you're someone just watching this video at home looking for some guidance this might be a great video for you so first off i do want to give just some quick shaving tips i have male clients that sometimes you know they come in with little stubble and things like that and um i get a lot of people telling me that they get like some ingrown hairs and things of the sort so the best way to avoid those kinds of things are, well, obviously, you know, making sure that you are shaving with the grain of your hair. And um, so if you're someone that uses like a regular razor, just go down with the grain of the hair and do not go against the grain. I know it's very tempting to do so, but it only is going to cause you discomfort. It's going to cause the hair to grow in the wrong direction, causing the ink grown hair, and then you will just experience a lot of discomfort and it could even get infected and lead to a lot of other issues. So just make sure that you're shaving with the grain of your hair. Also make sure that you do regularly change the razor of your uh, machine because uh, you know, a lot of people, they tend to think that it's working fine and they're just using it and they're just using it and what they're not realizing is that the blade is getting very dull and that is not causing the hair to cut in the best way possible. It's actually just gonna cause the hair to pull and tug and so that's also gonna cause lots of discomfort in the hair. Also a great tip that I have and I highly recommend you guys do this when you are shaving is to apply a warm towel to the face beforehand. So what you can do is you can grab a face towel, a microfiber towel, bring it in with some water in the sink, you know, squeeze it out, make sure that it's just kind of damp, put it in the microwave for a minute or less, just getting it nice and steamy and then apply it to your the area where you're gonna shave and kind of just keep it on there for a minute or two, wait till the towel gets cold. If you wanna repeat this a few times, you can. But what that's going to do is it's going to soften the follicle of the hair. So uh, the shaving process will be a lot easier because all of that is nice and softened and not full of gunk and hard and things like that. So it's just nice to maybe soften the follicle before you go in with the shaving. Um, I highly recommend you give that a try. That might make a huge difference for you if you're having issues with your shaving technique. I wanna jump in to some really basic skincare. I know men out there do not want to go into this whole huge skincare routine. They don't want fruity fragrances. They don't want girly smells. So I have a few products here that I recommend to my male clients all the time because they are not that kind of girly smell. Um, they are not too difficult to use. 
They are your basic run-of-the-mill skincare, not super expensive, and you will definitely love it. So I do recommend uh, that you wash your face twice a day, so in the morning and at night. Now, I do usually recommend people use the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser just because it's very, it doesn't have any fragrance and it doesn't smell like anything whatsoever. It's a very nice creamy texture. So uh, it's very nice for my male clients. They typically like it, the fact that it's not that kind of weird uh, foamy or girly smell, things like that. So this one is great if you have just regular to dry skin fantastic kind of cleanser for you and then maybe just use that in the morning time and then you would like to if you can follow it up with a moisturizer um, which you could use if you don't want to use multiple products you could find a moisturizer with an spf in it just make sure that you're using enough product so uh, I usually like to recommend the CeraVe Facial Moisturizing Lotion. Uh, for the AM, it has a broad spectrum SPF 30. And so you're getting the moisturizing benefit while also getting your SPF in there. You do need SPF. I know lots of guys out there find this hard to believe, but you do need SPF even if you're working indoors. There's lots of sun damage and sun is the leading cause of aging in our skin so you do need some protection from the sun so usually recommend this one because you can just do this in the morning do your cleanser do your moisturizer with spf and you're done if you're someone that wants to protect your skin a little bit more from the sun you could go in after that with a uh, another spf this one is from ren and it's the clean screen mineral spf 30 and the reason why i like this one is because it is a mattifying sunscreen so you're not going to feel very oily throughout the day if you're someone that tends to notice you get very oily skin this one is really great because it will help mattify the skin but also give you your protection from the sun so if you want to go the extra step and apply another SPF on top, you could use this one. It is fantastic. If you have more oily skin, you could benefit maybe from a foaming cleanser. CeraVe does have a foaming cleanser. I don't have it with me at the moment, but they do have a nice foaming cleanser um, that you could use in the morning and at night. So that's another thing to keep in mind. CeraVe has a lot of different types of cleansers and they all are formulated the same, not with any smells or fragrances and things like that. So they're all pretty fantastic. So highly recommend one of those. If you do have oily skin, go for maybe the foaming cleanser. And uh, so at night you do your regular cleanse and maybe around twice a week, I would recommend you do a uh, exfoliating treatment after your cleanser. Now, uh, I know not lots of guys out there like to do lots of scrubs and things like that. So we're not gonna recommend any scrubs today. I'm gonna recommend a glycolic acid. And this one is from The Ordinary, it's fairly inexpensive. And it's a glycolic acid toning solution. So it's actually a toner that's gonna help exfoliate the skin. So what you'll do is you apply this on a cotton round or you can even apply it into your hands. I've definitely done that. And you can just pat this in to your skin. You might feel a slight tingle, so that's nothing to be worried about. You're gonna feel a slight tingle as long as it's not something too unbearable for you or too much, then you're fine. Just apply it very tap, tap, tap it through the skin like this and then you will notice that it will absorb into the skin. You don't have to wash it out after, it's going to absorb. And what that's going to do is it's going to lightly exfoliate the skin. So it's going to make your skin appear more glowing and youthful, help with aging as well as cleaning out your uh, pores and also um, help treat any pigmentation in your skin. So it's a really good idea to incorporate some kind of exfoliating treatment at least twice a week. That way you can ensure that your skin is at its full potential and we're releasing those dead skin cells from the top layer of your skin. So that's a great one to use. If you're someone that notices in, at night or maybe for your nighttime treatment, if you're someone that notices that you have larger pores and lots of oil production, maybe you're a little bit more on the oily side, you could incorporate a niacinamide serum. This one is from Naturium. 
It's a niacinamide serum, 12% plus zinc. So it's going to help uh, decrease oil production in the skin, helps regulate it. So you'll notice that you'll be less oily throughout the day. And also it's going to help even out the skin tone and skin texture and help with any acne. Um, so that's really great also if you tend to get lots of ingrown hairs with your shaving. It's really great to use this on the states that you don't shave just because it's going to make sure that everything is not staying into the hair follicle and it comes out. It's just going to make sure everything is nice and calm. So that is highly recommended if you feel like that's something that you need. You could incorporate that and then Naturium is really great because they don't have any fragrances either. None of these products really have fragrance other than one of them that I'm going to mention, um, which is a moisturizer. Now, this one's from Postqualm, it's the moisturizing cream. And I say it has fragrance because it has a slight smell to it. However, it's not a girly kind of perfumey scent. It's more of like a clean scent, uh, kind of like a spa scent. So I don't think that it's terrible. If you don't like that, you could go with one of the CeraVe ones that don't have any fragrance. But if you don't mind, then this one is really fantastic for the nighttime. So after you've gone in with your cleanser and your treatments, go ahead and follow up with your moisturizer. This is going to lock in all of the treatments into your skin and it's also going to help your skin calm in its oils and hydration. So it's uh, really great to apply on last and I typically recommend a thicker kind of cream in the nighttime because you're gonna go to bed and then that's when your skin is going to do the most of its work. Our skin continues to work even after we go to bed. So use a thicker cream at night. It doesn't have to be too heavy or anything like that. If you don't like that, you can use a thinner cream, but try to keep the thicker creams towards the nighttime. That way your skin can have it absorb in while you sleep. Yeah, that's basically my recommendations for a men's skincare routine. Um, also uh, a men's skincare routine and some shaving tips for you. If you have any other suggestions, then please leave them in the comments down below. I would love to hear what you guys think. If you'd like to shop any of the products that I have mentioned here, I will try to link them down below in the description box. If the links may be affiliate links from which I earn a small commission off your purchase if you use the link, but that's without any pressure. You don't have to use my link if you don't want to, but just so you know, that is down in the description box below and just will help you out with finding the product. And please remember to like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.